Join the queue now for a magic carpet trip, a no-passport journey to France. A simple formality, the receipt of a photographed identity card, and you're off on one of the cheapest and most trouble-free adventures. Goodbye, England. You wave and you're off for the day. Off to the continent for a day of wine and wonders and back in time for a good night cup of cocoa. Tomorrow, someone will ask you where you were yesterday and you'll say, ever so casually, I nipped over to France for the day just for a change of scenery, you know. To get you in the right mood, Jobnia has her own way of giving a continental flavor to the not-so-English-anymore channel. If you're a bad sailor, you'll be in good company. And before you've had time to say mal de mer, there'll be land ahoy, a foreign land, France, yet so close to our own country that a passport really does seem a most absurd formality. As you step ashore in France, you may be thinking that the Frenchmen on the quayside could just as easily be Englishmen. And then you discover that you can hardly understand a word they're saying. They're different, after all, you find, and so is this way of spending the day. Uh, or is it? On the beach, it's the same old sun that shines down on Blackpool, but there's something you can't pin down that makes it just that little bit different. Maybe it was the wine you had with your lunch. Uh, sorry, déjeuner. Or maybe it's the bikinis. It's nice to relax in a deck chair, but really you could do with the exercise and you don't need to speak the language to play beach ball. What, dear? Yes, dear. 